So we start off with our patients in our outpatient area. We give them their chemotherapy before their treatment. And then on day zero, we give them their cells. And then we care for them every day after that up until at least day 30. Day zero can be a really long day for patients, but we try and be there for our patients as nurses to make sure that the day is comfortable for them. They'll come in usually pretty early in the morning. We'll draw a lot of labs because we wanna make sure that everything is right before we go through with the CAR T therapy. Once we get the okay from our doctors, we'll come in with the cells. It's usually a very exciting, but kind of boring event. We'll infuse the cells with at least two nurses in the room. And once the patient does well, we'll observe them for a while. We do a lot of vital sign checking during the infusion to make sure patients are doing well. And then we'll watch them closely afterwards. And then depending on the type of CAR-T that they're getting, they'll either stay in our outpatient area for a little bit of monitoring afterwards, or they'll be admitted to our inpatient area. RNs have a really important role with the caregivers as well. We spend 24 hours a day with the patients, so we do really get to know them, but we do get to know their families as well. I think we get a lot of questions from family members watching their loved ones be sick while they're in the hospital and asking, is this normal for them to be confused? Is this normal for them to have fevers? And the answer is yes, but it's great to be able to provide that reassurance and assure them that they're in the best place possible with some of the best nursing staff there is. So sometimes it's that late night conversation or the conversation in the hallway where family members are able to just talk about what they're going through and as RNs, we're able to be there for them, applying our extensive knowledge about CAR-T, but also our humanity with these patients and making family members feel a little bit more comfortable. So there are a lot of side effects with CAR-T, but I believe you're in the best possible place being at Mayo Clinic. Our RNs on the floor have a lot of extensive knowledge. We go through a lot of extra education to be able to take care of these patients. And when they're not doing well, we have the staff and the multidisciplinary teams that can take care of these patients. I think nurses at Mayo Clinic really take each individual patient and see them as a whole person. So not only what they have going on physically, but emotionally and mentally, because we know that CAR-T can be tough and it can be draining in all of those aspects. I think our nurses do a lot of things really well on our floor, but one of the things that really stands out to me is our ability to ask questions about patient symptoms and really get to the bottom of what's going on so that we can provide an individualized plan for each patient. So if someone's having nausea, we can talk about what kind of nausea that is because there's a couple different kinds. And then we can take different medications and find what works best for that patient and make a plan around that. I think nurses in general are really great at doing that, but I think nurses at Mayo Clinic kind of take that one step more and one step further.